Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Bijou Theater. Nice. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm not Santa. <laughs> um, but I am your opening act. My name is Chris Langle of Chris Langle Magic. You may or may not have seen me before here at this theater. Uh, even though the last show I did here, nobody showed up to. So you probably haven't seen me before. But uh, we're going to start off the show today, get you guys going, get you guys amped and pumped up. Are you ready to see a cool show? Yeah! Uh, so the first thing we're going to do today is we're going to do something called creating the magic word of the day. Now, how does that work? Very simple. I'm going to take somebody's word, something funny, something creative, and something PG. That's the disclaimer so the parents can't get mad. And then we're going to take another word. We're going to combine those two words together like peanut butter and pickles. Don't knock it till you try it. And then we're going to have a magic word, and we're going to see if it works. So who wants to give me the first part of the magic word? You. Popcorn. Popcorn. All right. Popcorn is the first part of the word. Who wants to give me the second part of the word? So one. Anyone at all? Which one? He's a little in the back. All the way in the back. What's the word? What do you work? How about how about magic popcorn? Can we do that? Yeah. Magic popcorn. Alright, I've got it for everybody to say magic popcorn. One, magic two, three! Magic popcorn! Now that we've all said the magic word, we're gonna see if this word works. So here's what we've got right here in my hand. We've got this clinging to each other, but I've got in my hand the world famous three rope trick. Why do they call it the three trick? Well, it's very simple. Because we have three ropes. We have a short rope. We have a medium rope. And then we've got the big one. So, let me ask you guys a question. If I wanted to take all these ropes, make them all the same size, how would I do it? Without magic, how would I do it? Cut them. Who said cut them? Somebody in the back said cut them. Exactly. That's exactly what we'd have to do. We'd have to take a pair of scissors, cut everything the smallest rope, let everything else fall to the ground, and we'd all be the same size, right? Guess who forgot his scissors? This guy. <laughs> so, we're going to do a backup plan. We're going to use the magic word. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring these ropes up. I'm going to bring the small one up into my hand, the medium one up into my hand, and the large one up into my hand, just like this. Very carefully. Very smoothly. Very... Well, i got to make sure that they're all lined up properly. And then at the count of three, I'm going to hold these ropes above my head. We're all going to say the magic word, magic popcorn. And hopefully this word works. You guys ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Magic popcorn. Whoa, whoa, I felt something. See, what you guys don't see is when you all say the magic word, when you clap and cheer, all of your energy builds up into the ceiling of the theater and shoots right here to the center of the stage. And that's how the magic works. Because when you guys all said the magic word, it made some magic happen. Now I've got one rope, two ropes, three ropes that are all the same size. Give yourselves a big round of applause. <laughs> now that we've got some ropes that are all the same size, I'm gonna do some cool, with some cool stuff with them. So I'm gonna take these ropes. I am going to uh, take them and turn them into little links. We're gonna make circles, little rings, the rope circles. And I'm going to put this on my head. Because it makes children laugh. <laughs> we're going to do that again. We're going to take ring number or rope number two. We're going to take it, tie it up into a circle, and we're going to place that circle on my head. Because the fedora needs decoration. And finally, we're going to take rope number three. We're going to tie it end to end into a circle like so. And we are going to put it on my arm. Because why bother with consistency in 2021, right? <laughs> Seriously, you're probably all wondering to yourself, who is this guy? Why did he sneak on stage? This isn't his show. Uh, and why does he have powerful rock and roll McDonald's ropes? Very simply, because we made a magic word work one time. Now we're going to make it work twice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these ropes and high above my head like this. You are all going to see the magic word magic popcorn, and then we are going to see if we can make this word work twice. Ready? One, two, three! Magic popcorn! Whoa! That was a lot more energy. Oh. Thank you. Surely you felt that, right? You guys felt it over here? I like felt one it. person there. Wow. You see, guys, the crazy thing about magic is the more people want to believe in it and the more people put their energy into making it real, it actually becomes real. 
And that is a magic trick. Thank you guys. So we're gonna make a playing card disappear. You guys wanna make a playing card disappear? Who said no, it's a magic show. Well, guess what we get to do? We get to make a playing card vanish. As a matter of fact, can you hold on to this card for me? I'll do it. <laughs> we get it. We get it. Be quiet. Don't work out for everyone. Anyway. So we're going to make a playing card disappear. The way we're going to do that is by building a mini stage. That mini stage requires two panels, a front stage and a back stage. And our actual stage. So the first thing you got to do is you got to put the panels on. One here and one here. Anyone in the audience with a giant playing card that they just carry around with them all the time? Anybody have that? Ah, you! Thank you very much. Awesome. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. If you could just uh, toss that up here or something, if you can. Oh. <laughs> I'll get it. You want to get that for me, Jim or Green on? Or Jim, you can do it too. Gary, Gary can get it. Perfect. All right. Awesome. Thank you, everybody. Gary, the owner of the theater. <laughs> Thanks, Gary. <laughs> No, it's really gone. I checked. <laughs> it's not gone? It is, I checked. Seriously, no, it's not there anymore. Seriously, no, it's not there anymore. Thank you. I love this trip. I love this trip. I love this <laughs> Show of hands, who sees this? There we go, there, everybody shut their hands raising. Sorry, so we should know right now how this trick is done. I don't, there's a little slit right here in the center of the stage, and the card actually slides right through it, right? So, uh, when you put the panels on it, you just drop it into the slot, right? So, now that we kind of know how this trick works, how about we, uh, let's just do it again, and then you guys clap at the end just to make me feel good, okay? Who wants to make a playing card disappear? Yay! So, we're going to take one part of the stage and put it on, we're going to take the second part of the stage and put it on, and now we're going to take our playing card and put it in between the two panels and drop it in, and it vanished. I checked. Yeah. <laughs> that dog! Right there, yeah. I'm going to make it magically 
vanish from the side of the box and appear in this empty space. Are you guys ready? Here we go. One, two, three. See, they knew. They didn't say the magic word. That's awesome. Now, guys, as you can see, it has vanished from this side and it has gone over to this side. Yeah. I know, right? One person left. It's okay. One person. It's all right. Not everybody sees it the first time. We'll do this again. We take the die that's inside of you. We're going to make it magically appear over here where there is nothing. One, two, three. Guys, there is a scratch right on the bottom of this thing, right? I gotta fix that. But that's right, magic popcorn makes the die vanish from this side, and it ends up going over to here. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So guys, guys, let's be real for a second. I'm not fooling a single one of you with this, am I? No? Because you know, when I'm distracting you, all I'm doing is this. And you can hear it too. So you know that when the die is over here, and I make it vanish, it ends up coming over here. Tell you what, let's try to do this the magic way. We're going to take this die, I'm going to place it right here on this table. I'm going to stand over here. Guys, at the count of three, we're all going to say the magic word, magic popcorn, and we're going to see if we can make that die actually disappear. Are you guys ready? Loud and proud, one, two, three. Did you see anything happen? Did you guys feel the energy around the room? Because if you guys did this correctly, oh yeah, oh yeah, there is nothing inside of here, and there is nothing inside of you. Thank you, thank you very much, but, uh, but understand something, ladies and gentlemen, that there is actually a, a, a secret rule in magic. You can't necessarily make something disappear without it reappearing somewhere. You, sir, third row. Yes, you, looking behind you. Can you do me a favor, good sir? What is your name? Peter. 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 Can you do me a favor? Can you look under your seat? Do you see anything unusual under your seat? Can you bring whatever that unusual thing is up to the stage for me? Yes, don't open it yet. It is not Christmas, but bring it right up here to the center of the stage. Everybody give Peter an applause. Awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, the second rule of magic. If you stop believing in something, eventually it won't happen. But as long as you believe that there is magic out there, we can make magic happen. Thank you. So ladies and gentlemen, Santa Claus and the elf are going to be out here very soon. But I was just instructed by one of the elves that I do have time for one more trick. Do you guys want to see one more? Yeah! There's like one kid in the audience who's like, you're not Santa, go away. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I give you one of my favorite magic tricks of all time. It is older than dirt. I should know this. I've done my research. It's literally carved in the pyramids in Egypt of people doing this trick. It was brought to China, it was brought to Europe, it was brought here to the United States, and it has been brought right here to the Bijou Theater. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you what is simply known as the rings. Now guys, in my hands right here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six rings, like the Chicago Bulls. Mainly because I did have a Tom Brady joke that went with that, but he had to go on win number seven and make that joke irrelevant. We're gonna take rings one, two, and three, and magically, using nothing but magic, I will make these rings appear around my neck. Here we go. One, two, three. I know that wasn't magic, was it? You just saw you saw the hat come off. It's all right. Thank you. I like you, kid. We're gonna take ring number four, 
And as a matter of fact, um, could you, right here in the front, eating a Swedish fish, can you hold on to this ring for me? Excellent, excellent. Take that right back to your seat. And um, you, kind sir, eating a popcorn, can you hold on to that ring? Kids, I would like you to do me a favor. I'd like you to take, take these rings, test them, make sure that they are real, make sure that they are, in fact, solid. Tap it on your hand, make sure that it's a solid ring. Check it, make sure that there's no lions, tigers, bears, smoke, bears, trap doors, hidden assistance, David Copperfield is not here. <laughs> Anybody in the audience have a ring I can borrow? They just carry around with them at all times. Ah, oh, you do. Yes, yes, thank you very much. Awesome, thank you, thank you, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I give you the one, the only Lady Gaga. <laughs> I know, I know. Hey, to be fair, nobody laughed at that joke at the last show I did here because there was no one in the audience. Um, so guys, seriously, we're going to take one ring, we're going to take two rings, we're going to bring these two rings together like this, creating a miracle. I give you the one, the only, Venn Diagram. <laughs> You're a teacher, aren't you? Someone's a teacher. That's why you got that. Seriously, guys, with a little bit of belief and a lot of luck, you can actually bring these two rings together and create a link. Thank you, thank you, I appreciate it. But guys, you guys, hold, on. hold your applause, hold your applause. I'll earn your pity, it's okay. We could agree that that is not the coolest way to link a ring. Is that correct? So let's do it again. Watch this. Instead of seeing it link, I will let you guys hear the exact moment that they link. Here we go. One, two, three. Now, now, that, I mean, I mean, that would be cool. That would be cool. <laughs> that would be cool. Uh, if that was the coolest way to do this, but it's not. Let's try to do that with one hand. I'm gonna take this ring, I'm gonna throw it up into the air. Do you stand right over here for me? 
We have pair of Christians. Hold on to this ring. Make sure that's really in there. Not the one that I want to face it towards you. Yeah. Make sure it's really in there. It's really lit. It's not going anywhere. Awesome. Lindsay, do the same for me. Make sure that's not going anywhere. Are we good? Is this fair? Yeah. Perfect. I want you to hold on to this ring for me, all right? As we count down, both hands bring it up just like this. Both hands. We count three, guys. We are all going to unlink these rings followed by a thunderous round of applause for Christian. Not for me, because he's doing the work. One. Two. Wait, Lindsay, you need one too, Dave. <laughs> Yay! Yeah! All right, Lindsay, hold on to a ring like this. And then Christian will have a ring like this. All right. There we go. This is where it gets interesting. And by the way, for the benefit of people with flash photography, it is Christmas season. Christmas cards need to go out. You can take pictures. Here we go. Hold yours all the way up. I'm gonna come down with my ring here. If you pull it back, I'm gonna try to hit it. I might flip you in the head. That's exactly what I don't want to have happen. All right, same thing. I might come down and flip. No, you probably have that happen. Here we go. Here we go. One, two, three, and magic popcorn. Six. 